back to our channel. In this video, we're going to talk a bit more in depth about where we've actually traveled. Yeah, and we're going to put some clips into the video, so it will hopefully uh, make it a little bit more interesting for you guys to see where we've traveled together. Before I met Kaylee, I hadn't done a lot of travel. I've only ever traveled with family uh, within Australia, so before I was 21, I'd never been on a plane, never been overseas. Uh, so I'd only ever been to Gold Coast where we drove from New South Wales up there and you know just um, to places like the Blue Mountains in New South Wales and like Northern Beaches or South South Coast in, on New South Wales and that was, that was about all the travel I had ever done. So before I'd met Dan, uh, I was lucky enough to have my parents who saved for a long time. Uh, and they saved for us to go on a round the world trip. So our family of four uh, went on an around the world trip when I was 14 and I think my brother was 11. So we went everywhere, <laughs> or not everywhere, but we went to a lot of places and it was over a three month period. So I had three months off school. Um, it was really eye opening for me because we'd never been overseas before, my brother and I, and it was, yeah, so first, time sort of experiencing different cultures and and different ways of living i guess and really i think it's a really cool thing to travel when you're still in high school and you're still kind of in that phase where you don't really know too much about other people's cultures and you, you sort of you're a bit ignorant to it so it was really cool to have our eyes open to that at, at sort of a young age as well so we went uh, first of all, uh, from Australia via Singapore and Vienna in Austria. It was a, I remember it was a really, really long flight. And then from Vienna, we went to Cairo in Egypt. So that was pretty much the first country I ever went to overseas. So that was a really big shock to me at 14, um, seeing how a lot of people lived in Egypt. And it was an amazing experience. It's still a place that I would just die to go back to because it, it is so beautiful and so insane like and so different to Australia having that as the first stop in our around the world holiday was just like from Australia to Egypt like bang <laughs> just completely different in, in every way and uh, just definitely a country I'd love to go back to I you know it's so interesting I've always been interested in learning about ancient Egypt in school so I already know knew a little bit about um, ancient Egypt and going to the museums and over there oh my gosh it was amazing so yeah it was really cool to see that at, at a young age but from Egypt, we went over to the UK. Uh, after the, we did the UK, I think, I'm not sure of the time order of this, it's a little bit messed up, but I'll just name the countries that we did go to. So we went um, around England, so we went to Bath and Manchester, which funnily enough is where my dad's favorite football team was, um, Manchester City. So that was probably why we went there at the time. Um, and then we went further north to Edinburgh in Scotland and we went to Loch Ness and, and saw that. And after we did a bit of England, I think we actually did England after we did Europe, but uh, just for the sake of this video, I'll just name the places. So mm -hmm. after the UK, we went to France, we went to Spain, uh, Italy, Greece, Germany, Austria, Switzerland, uh, the Netherlands. And yeah, I think that was it for Europe. I, we did a bit of transiting through like Belgium and we transited through Liechtenstein as well and um, went to a few more places, but that was the majority of what we did there. So yeah, after that, we went from Europe back to England and then from England to uh, the States, uh, so America, and we did New York, Washington, um, Florida, uh, and then we went from there to South Dakota and over to LA and San Francisco and we also did Canada as well so we went up to Calgary and went to Jasper and Banff and yeah that was kind of most of our trip and then Hawaii on the way home so it was a pretty big trip and living out of a suitcase for a few months is pretty hard I have to say but I think it was easier probably when I was 14 because I didn't have as many clothes but I think I'm really going to struggle on our round the world trip because I have a lot more clothes now and I have a lot more makeup so that's going to take up a lot of space but yeah after that after that trip we went to Fiji as a family and after Fiji we did a trip to China as well and um, I'd been doing trips as well to in in between those trips um, so my first trip I did as an 18 year old I went with my best friend and we went to Hong Kong and Singapore 
And that was my first sort of real taste of Asia, because uh, I hadn't really been to Asia prior to that, and I loved it. So I went back probably about four times, <laughs> five times to both places, uh, and even went back with Dan. So yeah, that I love those places, absolutely love them so much, and I would probably live there if I could. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed both places, and um, yeah, so we went to China as well, and we've we've done a bit of a tour there so far, and. And yeah, I also went to New Zealand with a couple of uh, friends from my uh, photography course as well. So that was a really cool trip. And then pretty much meeting Dan and I'll hand that over to him of where we've traveled together. My first ever overseas trip was in 2014. Uh, Kaylee actually surprised me with a ticket to uh, New Zealand. Uh, so I put it in a Kanye West album because you know. he hates Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh this is great thank you <laughs> and I was like just just open it <laughs> yeah so that was a surprise like I've always wanted to travel I just never got the chance like um, I don't know the family as a family we just never traveled a lot we only ever went down for the weekend to the, the, the coast or something so to go overseas uh, in 2014 for the first time even though I was only to New Zealand just across the ditch um, that was really cool and since that first trip I kind of got the travel bug and since then we went to Singapore and Hong Kong in 2016 and then we just recently got back about what, two or three weeks ago from Japan and South Korea. Between those uh, overseas trips we have done quite a bit of travel within Australia. Uh, we have been to the Blue Mountains, we've been to Canberra, to Melbourne about three times before we moved here. We went up to Cairns in tropical North Queensland and Adelaide and Broken Hill in the far west New South Wales outback. And we've also been to the Snowy Mountains, so we have done quite a bit of travel on the east coast of Australia, um, and we do hope to do a lot more within the next uh, couple of years as well. Yeah, we're really hoping to get to Tasmania at some point, but it's really not that far from Melbourne, <laughs> so I feel like while we're living here, we should really go over there and just check it out. But um, just depending on time and money now, especially since booking our big trip, so mm -hmm. we'll probably do a video on where we want to go, um, regardless of whether we're going to go to these countries on our bigger trip, but I think it'll be cool to do a video just showing our bucket list places of where we It's going to be a really go. long bucket list. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's probably going to be like a five hour long video, but, um, yeah, that's kind of what we're looking at doing maybe next and, um, yeah, just showing you guys what we really like to see. And if you've got any places that you've been to that not many people have been to, feel free to list them in the comment section below. Or any places that you could recommend to go to, definitely do so because we're always looking for places to travel to next. So uh, we hope you enjoyed this video though. If you enjoyed the video, please like below and comment uh, with some feedback and suggestions. Uh, but until next time, thank you so much for watching. Thanks guys. Bye. Bye.